right, so what have I been buying on uh, Amazon this week? We'll start with this one, The Wages of Fear. Um, I've wanted to see this one for quite some time. It was directed by a guy called Jean, oh sorry, Henri Georges Clouseau, <laughs> who um, also directed a wonderful French thriller around about 1960 called Les, Les Diaboliques. Uh, which I again, again, saw many, many years ago. Thoroughly enjoyed. Very psychoish, scary as hell. Um, well worth watching if you can find it. This is a slightly different thing. Um, it's a thriller concerning a group of truckers who are enlisted to transport a cargo of nitroglycerin across the country, um, with the fear that this stuff will explode and kill them all. Um, it's apparently a very tight, taut thriller. Uh, looking forward to getting into that one. I can't tell you much more about it because I've never seen it. Um, it was remade in 1977 uh, by William Friedkin, the director of The Exorcist. Um, he called his version Sorcerer. Uh, that got mixed reviews. Um, some hated it uh, basically because they loved the original and some thought it was brilliant. I've never seen it. Um, I will be ordering a copy because I would love to compare the two versions. Um, so I'll probably grab a copy of that this afternoon and then watch them both and uh, put them side by side and see how they uh, how they compare. Uh, the other one I bought this week, Blue Velvet. Uh, we were talking about this at work uh, a few days ago. Um, one of the guys had seen it on uh, one of the terrestrial channels and I thought, I haven't seen that for ages. I would love to see that again. So I um, grabbed a copy of that. It's David Lynch at his bizarre weird best um, and it stars Dennis Hopper in an absolute powerhouse of a performance <laughs> scary man very very scary man Dennis Hopper um, but that one I'm definitely looking forward to watching because I haven't seen it for so many years there's not much I can tell you about it because I can't remember very much um, I do remember it being very very strange and bizarre um, which I do kind of like couple of books secret hollywood um now this is just a collection of short stories and anecdotes about films stars um going right back to the silent era i'll share a few of these with you actually um uh, not right now um but in future videos as i as i read it and find one that i think you'll find interesting i'll share it with you for instance did you know uh, that Beverly Hills Cop was originally offered to, uh, to Sylvester Stallone? Um, he read the script. Um, he asked the, his agent whether he could rewrite it. He agreed. Um, he rewrote the script. Uh, his agent wasn't keen on it. The reason he rewrote it was because he wanted to make uh, the central character Axel Foley more of an action hero than a comedy star. Um, because he wasn't sure that he could carry the comedy off. Anyway, it got abandoned. Uh, Stallone walked away from it and they uh, approached Eddie Murphy and the rest is history. So that's one of the little stories I read in there. So any more like that and I'll, I'll, I'll share them with you in future videos. The other one I got is this. Now I love books like this. Um, books that I can just dip into, read a couple of pages, put down and then go a little bit further with it. Um, I'll try and show you a couple of pages, but we all know that this is just rubbish, it never works. But it's, it just basically takes you from the creation of cinema right the way through the years. Starts with the silent films, very early ones. It's a cracking book. I'm looking forward to uh, having a proper read of that. Now, what's coming up next week? The movie of the week next week. Uh, this is the one that I'm going to write a review of to publish on the website and also talk about a little. To Sir With Love, Sidney Poitier, uh, made in 1967. Um, I can imagine this caused a few problems with the censors in its day. I need to read up on this. Um, basically about a coloured guy who starts uh, teaching in a tough London school. Uh, you've got, as I say, Sidney Poitier, Susie Kendall, Judy Geeson. Um, there are quite a few. Christian Roberts. Lulu is in there. Uh, back to Christian Roberts, um, you'll kind of recognise him if you're a fan of Emmerdale. Um, and it took me a while to make the connection with this. I've, I've seen this movie a few times and thought, where do I know him from?
Christian Roberts, oh, not Christian Roberts, the other guy. What's his name? Christopher somebody. Can't remember his name, but you will definitely recognise him as Eric Pollard in uh, Emmerdale, as he is now. Obviously, he looked a damn sight younger back then. This is this is nearly 60 years ago. Uh, but if you have a watch of To Serve With Love, you will see a very, very young Eric Pollard. And another couple of movies. I'm going to dip my toe into uh, a couple of franchises. First off, this one. I've been threatening to do this for quite a while. The MCU universe, or whatever the hell they call it. This apparently is the very first one. You're supposed to watch them in some sort of an order. Um, I've got Iron Man, which I believe is the next one. Um, and I will be ordering more of these. I just want to watch the first couple and see whether I'm actually going to take two. Though I'm not a massive fan of superhero movies, apart from the ones that I remember from the 70s. Uh, sort of Superman the movie, Christopher Reeve. Um, and maybe the Spider-Man movies. There were a couple of Spider-Man movies in the 1970s that starred uh, Nicholas Hammond who played um, the oldest kid in The Sound of Music. Interesting bit of information for you there. And the other franchise I'm tempted to have a go at is The Fast and the Furious. Again, talking about this at work uh, a few weeks ago and thought, we're up to Fast 9 now. I really need to catch up with these. So I've, I've bought the first one. So I'll try and have a watch of that next week and let you know what I think of it. Apparently, the first two or three are the best and they just get very, very stupid after that. Uh, but we're not worried about that. We're going to give it a try. So that's pretty much it for this week, folks. Thanks ever so much for joining me. Um, if you've enjoyed the videos, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, um, pop over to the website and check out the review of um, Fright, which I'm going to be popping on there very, very shortly. Um, right, that's it, folks. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the rest of it. And I will talk to you all again next week. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.